friends welcome to circuit info youtube channel today we will explain a simple vft wiring diagram with a motor a plc and a speed control let's get started power supply connection we will begin with a three phase power supply it passes through a mcb for your protection the three phase r y and b are connected to the vft input terminals L1, L2, L3. The earth wire is connected to the VFD ground terminal for safety. This supplies power to the VFD to operate. Next, connect the motor to the VFD output terminals U, V, and W. These terminals deliver variable voltage and frequency to the motor. Also, connect the motor body to the ground terminals for protection. This allows the VFD to control motor speed and direction. Speed control wiring. We use a potentiometer as a speed regulator. One side connect to 10 volt from the VFD. The other side connect to the ground. The middle wiper connect to the A1, the analog input. When you rotate the potentiometer, it send a 0 to 10 volt signal letting you adjust the motor speed smoothly. Direction control wiring. We add a three position selector switch for direction control. Forward position connect to D1. Reverse position connect to the D2. All positions disconnect the both. This gives manual control to run the motor forward or reverse. PLC connection. Finally, finally, we connect a PLC for automatic control. The PLC send signal to the VFD via D3 and D4. It can also read motor status from the VFD analog input. This integration allows both manual and automatic control for the motor. Always use proper grounding and sealed cable for control wiring and set VFT parameter as per your motor ratings. And that's it, a simple VFT wiring setup with a motor, potentiometer, shelter switch and the PLC. If you found this helpful, like and subscribe for more quick tutorials.